one of the approaches we we tried was noticing and naming and lifting up children's initiatives. What we noticed by doing that was that we were affirming the actions for the child. So they would follow that initiative. They would continue their learning in that moment and they would um, take, they were more confident to take risks because they felt safe. They felt that we were seeing the positive actions or the positive initiatives they were taking. Whereby there's a child in the mud kitchen who is mixing sand and water together to make a mud pie, for example, the teacher would be observing him or her and he would, she would say, oh, Joe, you are um, tipping the water into the saucepan on top of the mud. You're mixing it together. And Joe might say, yes, I need more. So the teacher would then continue to name that child's initiative and say, yes, you need more. So they, they don't lead, they don't question, they just confirm what the child is saying or doing. And therefore the child feels safe enough to make the decision to do to take the next step in their learning. And, and another approach is that the educator might say you that that water is not going to be enough. It will be too thick and gluggy for a pie. You need to go and get more. So they take away the the um, dispositions for a child to follow their learning. It is important to affirm their actions or their initiatives to support them to feel confident and safe to think about other alternative solutions, to try new things, to take risks in their learning. We do not need to question children constantly.